are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. Speaking of finding ways to win, LSU may have turned a corner, man. Just killing Florida today, putting up 106 points. This may be the best team performance we've seen from LSU this season so far. LSU beat Florida by 40 points today. They jumped out to a double-digit lead. And you look at it, they had 54 points in the first half. They scored 24-plus points in every quarter. And it just shows you the dominance that they put on, man. Shooting almost 50% from the field, 46% from three. They shot 34 free throws. This game could have got even worse. Dominating the glass, 59 rebounds, 41 defensive rebounds. Are you kidding me? Uh, forcing 20 turnovers, love the 20 assists, the seven blocks. Um, it was just a complete team effort and an offensive showcase for this team, man. You look at it, multiple double-digit scores. Haley Van Lift with a game-high set, or for her, uh, a season-high seven rebounds, 21 points. And just, she's getting more comfortable. She's getting back to her ways of scoring the basketball, man. How about Angel Reese leading the group in assists, man? I told y'all that we could see the offense being run through her more. It's like a point forward. We're seeing that today. 14 points, 10 boards for her. Six assists, though. I'm looking at that. Anissa Moro, 20 rebounds. 18 and 20? Talk about dominant, man. She almost out-rebounded the Florida Gators by herself. Oh, my goodness. Michaela Williams poured in 21 points, too. The freshman getting it done. Flaje Johnson only played 19 minutes, had 10 points. Last year, Poa showing that she can be an offensive threat. Nine points for assists. She was looking for her offense. Alea Del Rosario, 11 and 9, almost a double double in 14 minutes off the bench. And then we saw some of those bench players get in. Janae Kent got some playing time. Angelica Belize got some playing time. Izzy Besselman got some playing time. You know what I'm saying? This is the most players we've seen get some action on the court for LSU all season. Amani Bartlett got some playing time. Some of the names that y'all were calling out that needed to see some minutes to give these starters. A breather actually got some burn today. This is the type of performance you want to see from LSU, though. Balanced, well-balanced, getting production from the bench. This is the most bench scoring that they have seen all season. And it's just impressive, man, just to show that, hey, they can get some valuable minutes out of the bench. And they're going to need more of that going forward. But the backcourt, Haley Van Lith, Michaela Williams, leading the way, combining for 42 points. Lighting it up, man. Haley Van Lith is turning that corner. She's starting to figure it out. It's coming together for her. I'm just saying it's looking good. I love what I'm seeing out of her. She's just got to play natural, play aggressive. She's in that point guard position, but she cannot forget. We cannot forget. Defenses cannot forget that she is a straight-up bucket. So, hey, LSU continues to roll and climb up in the SEC rankings. You know, with Ole Miss's loss. LSU's game, right? 